Hi, my name is Sander and in this tutorial I'll show you how to use feature flags in Godot. Feature flags, or feature tags as they are called in the documentation, are used to differentiate between multiple builds. You'll be able to make a demo build that has less features for example, but uses the same code without having to create multiple Godot projects. Here for example I have two instances of the same game running. One clearly states it's a demo and is not scalable, while the other states it's the full game and is scalable. They share the same codebase and Godot project, but are just exported using different feature flags. So I have this awesome game where you have to click a button to make the number go up. Best game ever, I know. Now I would like to distribute a demo version of this game that shows a label saying it's only a demo version. And I also don't want the window of the demo version to be resizable. Well, first we'll have a look at our export settings. Here I'll add a Windows build, but you can add any platform you like. This build will be used for the full non-demo game. Leaving everything default should do the trick. After that, let's duplicate the export preset and mention in the name that it's a demo build. Now we'll take a look under the feature tab. This has two sections. One on the bottom which lists what feature flags are already present and one on the top which is an input field where you can define your own list of feature flags. We'll add the demo flag over here by just typing in demo. Notice that the demo flag also appears in the bottom list. You can add more flags by separating them using commas. With these two builds set up, we can start checking for certain feature flags in our code and blocking or enabling features for specific builds. Let's open a script of our super awesome game over here. To check if a certain feature flag is active, we just have to use the function os.hasFeature with as argument the name of the feature flag we want to check. This will return a true or false value depending on whether the flag is set or not. So, let's say we want to show or hide the label that says it's a demo. We can simply change the visibility of this node in the ready function and give it a value that is returned from hasFeature. To try it out, we'll have to export the game real quick. Now when we run it, the label shows up. Awesome! Until now we have learned what feature flags are, how we can make them and how to check for certain flags in our code. But there's another very interesting thing we can do with these. Namely, change and override project settings depending on what flags are enabled. Let's say that I don't want the window of the demo version of my game to be resizable. First, we open our project settings and go to the window category under display. Here we have the resizable property. Disabling it will make the game window a fixed size. But we only want that for the demo builds. So select the setting and you'll see the override for button activates at the top. Clicking it will bring up a menu with all feature tags. Let's select our demo flag. A new setting will be added and you can see it has our demo flag as postfix. If we export and run the game again, we'll see we are not able to resize the window anymore. By default, Godot also already overrides some settings for specific feature flags, mostly for mobile quality reduction. Notice that there also is a debug flag that gets used when you're running the game from the engine or export it with debug enabled. Alright, that's the base of the tutorial. As always, I have some challenges for you so you can explore a bit on your own. 1. Let the demo version of my awesome game stop at 15 clicks. 2. Make the full version be in landscape mode and the demo version in portrait mode. I'll leave a link to my project code down below and I'll also link all the relevant documentation. Okay, that's it for me. I hope this helped you out. Like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.